from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The problem is we pray and don't get answered because we're praying and our eyes are looking onto men. And then we get mad and get angry because they do not do what we expect them to do for us. God's going to use anyone. God's going to do what he's going to do in his own time. All you need to do is keep on believing. Keep on praying. God answers prayer. When you focus on him. Psalm 34 and verse 5. It said they looked up unto him and their faces were lightning and they were not ashamed. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1 and 2 is that looking up unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. Seek you first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. The problem is we are seeking all other things. And not seeking the kingdom and his righteousness. When you God focus, you're going to turn to God's agenda. You got to know what is the plan and the purpose of God. If you have a problem, you go into his word, that is his agenda. Look at the promises. And what is it that he promised you? What is it that he said he's going to do? And then you stand on his word and begin to return his words unto him. For he said his word that he has spoken will not return unto him void. That's right. You've got to learn to pray with the word. Pray with the scripture. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I will live and not die. And I will declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. I will be wealthy. I will be blessed. According to the promise of God. The enemy will not come near me. Amen. Amen. That's how to turn to the agenda of God. If you look at the book of the Gospels. You find all the disciples. All the mother of John. And they said I want this seat on the right. And I want that seat on this. And they call in the, they said, let's call fire down and consume this child. They, they were busy driving the children away. And doing all sort of things. But all that changed. In the book of Acts. Because then they left all that their selfish interest. Pastor Shadow was ministering here. She said, All the me, me, me. And that was the, 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 the disciples. Me, 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 me. Me. I want to sit on the right hand. I want to I want to be with Jesus. I want to do this. I, I want to do that. And but when you get to the book of Acts, all that changed. And they began to get resolved because the persecution came. They were not worried about sitting on the right hand and driving the children away from Jesus anymore. And now they were praying. And when they prayed, the place where they prayed was shaken. If we want to follow God's agenda, we want to follow His word, we also need to learn to say the prayer of Jesus in Gethsemane. And what He said is, Lord I wish this cup passed over me. Oh, what I'm seeing, I, I don't like it, but not my will. But that will be done. But sometimes we pray and we're asking God to do something, but that's not His will. So we need to know, Lord, what is your will in this? To follow God's agenda is to follow God's will in God's way. We try to want to do God's will in our own way. That was the problem of Moses. He wanted to kill the Egyptian because he wanted to set his people free. But that was the will of God for him to set the, the Israel, uh, uh, Israelite free out of Egypt. But not by killing them. I said, how many is he going to kill? Well, doing God's will in his own way. And then he had to go 40 years. And then God had to empower him, train him, and send him back so that he could do his God's will in God's own way. Amen? Amen. Are you with me tonight? Amen. Number two principle. I must have deep fellowship. Deep fellowship and love 
of the brethren. It's not enough to focus on God and follow his agenda and follow his will. And John chapter 13 and verse 35, it says, By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. I see a lot of things that bothers me in the body of Christ, in the churches. Jesus did not die for a certain heaven. You know what I'm saying? There is no heaven for white people, heaven for Indian people, heaven for Africans, heaven for Asians. He didn't die the death of prejudice and segregation and, and the one Lord, one spirit, Amen. one baptism, uh -huh. one Lord. Amen. That's right. That is the love of God. Amen. If you're going to have your prayers answered in this new year, you've got to learn to have the love of God, the love for God and the love for His people. Amen. Love. If you look at the book of Acts, Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 4, Acts chapter 5, they were all together in love and unity. And they were sharing fellowship together. And, and they were sharing all together. All the book of love. That, that, they, were, they were living in love. In one accord. Koinonia. That's, that's what it was. The, the, in the Greek, the, the word fellowship. Deep fellowship. Number three principle is to have a clean heart. A clean heart. Say with me, a clean heart. Clean you know, I don't see those pictures around, but Pastor Shadow will remember. They have the heart of the man. They have the head of the man and a heart, large heart. Mm -hmm. And one heart has frogs and and uh, the devil in it. You know the picture I'm talking about? You've seen that? Yeah. A heart of a man. huh? He has uh, snakes and, and all sort of frogs and monkeys and everything. And the devil in it. And when he received Jesus, he drove out all that. And then the, the, there's another heart clean with light, with brightness. But the whole time picture, huh? You need a clean heart before God. You cannot have a heart filled with troubles and strife and malice and gossip and 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 blessing God. Serpent and not just whatever. And fighting with your wife is that the whatever, you know. Going to bed without talking and uh, We're going to pray for the man that there will be the man of God and be the head and be who God called them to be. A man of authority. A man with a clean heart. A man that will love their wives and love their children and children, children with one heart. With a clean heart, another word for it is holiness. Holiness unto the Lord. Amen. Righteousness. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 14. He said, follow peace and holiness with God. Without which no man shall see Amen. the Lord. Amen. Without which no man, no woman shall get his prayers answered. Psalm 66 and verse 18, it said, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. The only prayer of a sinner that God hears is the prayer of forgiveness, a prayer of repentance. Psalm 24 and verse 3, it said, Who may ascend to the mountain of the Lord and who may stand in his holy place? Is that the one who has a clean hand and a pure heart and who has not set his mind? On what is false and who has not sworn deceitfully, deceitfully, deceitfully. Acts chapter 5. You know, when you go through chapter 3, 4, 
Um, they were sharing all that they had. And in chapter 5, Hananias and Sapphira decided to bring their own offering also. And said, this is, we sold everything. But they were deceitful. They lied unto the Holy Ghost. Yes. And the Holy Ghost killed them. Amen. It's still the same Holy Ghost. Amen. All right? I just wish that the, the same dimension of that Holy Ghost would begin to happen in America. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? And all those churches of gay, they just come to the church and the Holy Ghost comes and kill all of them. <laughs> Bless him, God. Amen. And all those preachers that join those gay, you know, and when they just want to join them, the Holy Ghost just come and kill them. It's the same Holy Ghost. Is. Number four, you got to be united. There is power in unity. As family, you must be united. If we go back to that Exodus chapter 12, they were given instructions to how unite together. And that a lamp for a house, a lamp for a house. And if your household is, cannot afford a lamb, they said if they were too small, they got to unite together with another family. Yes. And then he said, when I see the blood, Amen. I will pass over you. Amen. When I see the blood, that is the power of the blood. We're going to partake of this table tonight and we're going to do some praying and shake off every forces of darkness and whatever powers of the wickedness is just tormenting you. And as you go into the new year, you go as a new person with a new relationship, with a clean heart, with a, a mind that is stayed on God. That is power and unity. When we are united together, we stand. When we are united together, the enemy cannot defeat us. The Bible says that it, they... they, they, they Aaron took one of them and killed him and it pleases the enemy so he took Peter also and they united together and they were praying and God sent his angel when we unite together we win when we are divided we fall, when we are divided we fail Amos chapter 3 and verse 3 said, Can two walk together unless they be in agreement? As couples, we're going to pray for couples tonight. A spirit of oneness and agreement, you've got to be together. Not just in, uh, 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 you know, there are, there are couples that are living separate, separate. They live in the same house, but they are. Amen. The devil is a liar. Right. Psalm chapter 133 he said, How good and how pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity. <coughs> there is power in unity. Right. Jesus prayed in John 17, he said, Lord, make them one, as I am one with you. Amen. Now let's go to Exodus chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12. Are you blessed tonight? Amen. Are you tired? No. Okay. We'll see about that. <laughs> Exodus chapter 12. Oh, you want me to sing one more song? Yes. Yes. Can you hear my singing? Yes. The African singing. Yes. Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let me do one more singing for you. Amen. I've been singing since I was singing. You know what?
what I mean. Amen. I've been thinking. I thank. I thank, thank a long time. Yeah. Exodus chapter 12. We're going to go to Exodus and then. <clears throat> Nobody beat the drums yet. I, I don't. I, I feel more comfortable with the drums and drums. You know, we do drumming, drumming. Nobody beat the drum, huh? You're a Paul. Oh. Okay, don't worry. Leave him. Leave him, Peter. I like the drumming, drumming. You know, all those people that are trying to sleep. I like to beat the drums so they can. Hmm? Amen. Now this one, you brought us out. You brought us out. Amen. Okay, let's try and see how it goes. You brought us out. Don't give me high key to sun. Through the fire and wind to a better place, you brought us high to bring us in. Oh Lord, you brought us from a mighty long way, a mighty long stay in the wilderness. Oh Lord, you brought us through the thick and thin, through the fire and wind, to a better place. You brought us high to bring us in. Okay, let me do a medley. Give me a convenient key. Everybody say, from a mighty long way. From a mighty long way. You brought us through. You brought us through. A mighty long way. 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 Long, long, long way. The Lord. The Lord has brought me from a mighty long way. Amen. Mighty long way. A mighty long way. Mighty long way. A mighty long way. Mighty long way. A mighty long way The Lord has brought me from A mighty long way Let's do it together Mighty long way A mighty long way Mighty long way A mighty long way Mighty long way A mighty long way the Lord has brought me from a mighty long way. Mighty long way, a mighty long way. Mighty long way, a mighty long way. You want to testify tonight? Mighty long way, a mighty long way. The Lord has brought me from a mighty long way. Rise up on your feet and celebrate it. Mighty long way, a mighty long way. Put your hands together. Oh, mighty long way, a mighty long way. Mighty long way, a mighty long way. The Lord has brought me from a mighty long way. A mighty long way, a mighty 
mighty long way, mighty long way, a mighty long way. I need you to thank him. You know, you just go to bed and wake up. You don't know what the Lord has brought you through. You know, sometimes you don't even know what's going on in your home system. You don't know if your heart is functioning right or your kidney or your liver or some, your whatever is going on in you. But the Lord, he knows all. He knows all. You know how many times people go to see the doctor in a year? You know how many times what people go through and all that? But if the Lord has brought you through, I need you to give him praise tonight. Amen. Say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for those journey mercies. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Lord. You are my deliverer. You are my greatest physician. You are my lawyer. You are my doctor. You are my... Father, you are my Lord, you are my Savior, and I just thank you for all that you do. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for delivering me. Thank you. I am thank you. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for my family. Thank you for your children and children, children. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't get to bury any one of them. Thank Him for His mercies endure forever. Thank Him for His love endure forever. Thank Him because He has never failed and He will never fail you. Thank Him because He's too faithful to fail. Thank Him. Thank Him.
Exodus chapter 12. We will not read the whole chapter this time. We will just go through from verse 1 to about verse um, 15. Amen. Amen. Are you in Exodus? Amen. Yes, yes sir. Read the things. One verse I read you responsibly. Verse 2. <coughs> and the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you in the beginning of the month. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next to his house take it according to the number of the household. Every man according to his your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. And ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. And ye shall keep it until the fourteenth day of the month. And the whole of the congregation shall And they shall take of the blood. And strike it on the two side poles and on the upper door post of the houses wherein they shall eat it. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, first the fire and then the bread, and the bitter herbs they shall eat. Eat not of it raw nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire his head with his legs and with the pertinence thereof. And thus shall you eat it with your loins scattered, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is the loss pass over. Can we do that again? We're soft. For I will pass the land of Egypt this night, and I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the Lord shall be to you for a talking upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the Lord, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smit the land of Egypt. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and ye shall keep it in peace to the Lord for one generation, and shall keep it in peace by the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and ye shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generation. You shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. By an ordinance forever. Amen. Amen. What's the thing? That when I see the blood, I'll pass over. God will bless you, okay? God will bless you. When I <laughs> see the blood, when I See the Lord when I see the Lord. I will pass, I will pass over you. No, you're gonna lead us. 
just going to say that. Make it even for you. If first the thing, okay? When I see the Lord, when I give us a key, does it good for you? sisters are going to pray for them. All the brothers. All the brothers. All the brothers. Amen. You know that passage says